Okay, we can talk a little bit first about transferring the drawing and then um, stretching the paper so we can get it ready for paint. So this is my drawing on a tissue and it's backwards. And the reason it's backwards is we're going to do a rub down transfer. And I'm going to try doing this and write on the watercolor block. Usually I just have a, a single sheet of paper. And I'm going to put this face down. So my last pass on this drawing was backwards. I flipped the, the trace sketch paper back and forth. You want to secure this down in your paper. I like to use draft dots just because they're convenient. But you want to um, tape it down so it's not moving around. Because once it moves around and you move the transfer, it's, you know, it's going to go over itself and double. Okay, so I'm going to take two more sheets of um, sketch paper. Uh, I just do that in case I dig into one and tear it. I don't tear the drawing underneath it. And this paper is actually a lot tougher than you think it is. It can take quite a bit of abuse. And now I'm just going to use, I use cheap pencils for this. This is the only time I'll use like these kind of yellow pencils or whatever, because I'm just using them as a burnishing tool. And the good thing about it is I can see where I've been on the transfer. I can see what I've covered already. And every now and then lift it up and check. Now on this, I was going on the block, so it's not transferring as well as I'd like. So I'm going to take this paper off the block and get it on a harder surface. Now it's transferring better. Um, and I can see it, but I'm still going to go in here and reinforce line and everything uh, after I'm done with this. Okay, so here's a transfer, and I'm just going to start the process of um, sort of pulling lines out and a little bit of tone and things like that. All this will drift down under the watercolor and, and sort of start to give me a little bit of value. And I'm also keeping a lot of my marks that I made sort of um, really loosely in the original drawing. So I just sort of dance around this thing and pull lines out. And I'm, I'm not really sticking. My, all my marks are under here, but I'm still being very loose and correcting things and changing things. And that's why I like this process. So when I'm finished with the drawing, then I drop this thing in a bathtub. I have, I don't know, five or six inches of water in here. And it's not warm water. And I'm going to leave it in here probably four or five minutes. Uh, what I'm looking for is when I lift it out of the water, is that it feels like heavy fabric. And I'll flip it sometimes too, because I want actually some of that brown of the pencil to sort of maybe wash over the paper a little bit. Sometimes I get lucky and it does, and it just gives it a nice warm undertone. So it's ready, so I'm gonna take it over and start stapling it down. So you can use any board for this. I've used pieces of plywood. This is a, probably a piece of gator board, I think. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of this now and just staple the perimeter all the way around. So this paper basically went right out of the bath and onto this board. So it's soaking wet. I had it sitting on a towel for a second just because I needed to prep the area, but it's, it's soaking wet. Okay, so that's it. It's ready to go. And it's still wet if you look at it here. It's pretty soaking wet. And sometimes it'll even start to buckle a little bit. Don't worry about it. It's going to stretch itself. So I'm going to put this outside to dry. Okay, so here's the dried paper now. It's nice and tight. You can see it's really um, dried up now. I put it out in the sun for, I don't know, half hour. I'm using drafting tape for this and I usually take some of the tack off on my pant leg and my or my shirt or something. And I've got some faint border marks here. Now a lot of times I just take a thumbtack and I put a hole in each corner so I don't have any mark. Because then if I decide to sort of vignette the paint off a little bit, I don't have any border lines or anything. On this it's so faint that it doesn't really bother me. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go edge to edge on this. And I've just found over the years that uh, drafting tape just works the best for me on this. You might have something you like better, the art tape or something like that, but this has worked really well for me. And that's it. It's ready for paint.